Right, welcome back, good multimedia people. It is time to get started editing video using Adobe Premiere Pro. And so we are going to start by practicing some matching action using some wedding video that uh, I took years ago down in Surprise Valley. And it was a real cowboy wedding, Larry Stevenson's daughter. Larry Stevenson used to be an ag teacher here. And his daughter got married down there in the Surprise Valley. And it, very, very cowboyish. It was a very nice time. Beautiful, beautiful place. Anyway, let's take a look at one of the scenes here. This is a bridesmaids arriving. Those are horses. And that's Larry Stevenson, I believe. No, I'm not sure who that is. That's not Larry driving that one. Look at that. There's the second camera shot. There's the third camera shot. And so then the maids are going to get off. And there's the fourth camera. I'm going to turn it down. It's probably some music playing we don't need to hear. And then here we go. And they start making their walk and so on and so forth. And there we go back to camera three. So you're going to learn how to do this editing. Back to camera four. I think we even have camera. There's camera five. And I think that's it. I've got five camera shot on this wedding. A lot of work. And so I don't do these anymore. Too much work. Too much stress. Too much equipment. And I'm essentially I'm using the same equipment that I had way back then. I think this thing's almost 10 years old. This is a long time ago. Maybe not quite that old. So anyway, that's going to be your first project, and you're going to cut or edit this video together, and you will probably, well, most of you, everybody's going to do it a little bit differently. I'm going to show you how I did it, but there are just so many different variations that you can do. So I'm going to give you five camera shots of this particular scene here where bridesmaids arrive, and so using Premiere Pro, you're going to learn how to, how to edit that or cut it together. And so step number one is that you need to navigate over to Drive B, Student Drive B, and we need to do some copying over to your folder on your ThoughtSpace Drive E. Now please be real careful when you do the copying, don't move it. This happened last week, somebody moved the video. And remember, we're all sharing the same computer and the same video, so we're all just making copies of it. And let's make sure this time that we only copy about 10 of us at a time. I think last time we really slowed things down by having a 20 some students copy this at the same time so anyway over drive B navigate to video production and we want to copy this wedding folder right here copy that over to drive B so go ahead and pause this video get that copied and then continue with this video Next step, assuming you've got this all copied over to your computer, go ahead and close down Drive B. And go ahead and go into the folder. And the first thing we'll do is just become familiar with the video footage of the project, just so we have an idea of what's there. And that's generally the first step you do when you're putting together a movie, especially, especially if you weren't there for the production of that video. So camera number one three different clips looks like a old clip I had let's see if I can try that again there we go by the way when we're putting this together we are not going to be concerned about the audio we're generally we're going to leave that out and handle that all separately and we will cover that in a different video so Keep that in mind. Don't worry about the audio at all. So there's the first scene. <coughs> the first camera shot of that. That's that same camera. I was Somebody was running around with that. I don't know if I was using this one. I might have been using this one. Got a lot of exercise. I had one other guy helping me. And so uh, we were busy. I was exhausted. So there you go. So go ahead and look through those. There's camera two. One clip there. Coming down the road. 
Now I remember this. That's definitely me. So that must have been my helper, Eric. Former student and good filmmaker that we had here. Eric Gasser graduated back mid-2000, 2003, I think. Camera three. see what four is oh yes I had a I had this camera mounted on top of my pickup truck I mean you can see that in one of those previous scenes and camera five camera five here this is a good reason <coughs> why I don't like doing wedding videos anymore in fact I don't do them because this camera we had set on a tripod and when we set the camera on the tripod uh, these people were not here and we had a great shot. I had it perfect. And then all of a sudden, why something like this happens, I'll just never know. Because it should be pretty obvious that there's a camera right here recording, red light flashing. Let's go stand in front of the camera. And so uh, it could be real frustrating. I can tell you when I was, you do a lot of yelling at the camera afterwards, capturing this video. Because you don't know that this is happening at the time. It just drives you crazy. Anyway, very frustrating. I think I would do weddings if you could do them like a movie. If something like this happens, you just say, well, let's do a retake on that. Ask your people to move somewhere else and shoot the scene over again. But live events, you can't do that. And so it's, it's just extremely stressful and extremely frustrating to have gone to all the trouble to set this up and then have this happen. But I digress. We don't need to go there. So go ahead and look through the video. Go ahead and pause this, come back, and then we'll talk about how to go ahead and start editing. In fact, what you can do while the video is paused, go ahead and open up Premiere Pro. And you can import each one of these pieces of video. And so if you remember how to do that, go ahead and do it. And when we come back together here, I will show you how to do that. So at this point, you should have opened up Adobe Premiere Pro, created a new project, and the name that I am giving to this project is Wedding Match Action. Wedding Match Action. And my first sequence, I named it Bridesmaids. And so if you need help either getting Premiere Pro started or naming that sequence or any of the settings, it's been, it's been a little while since we had Premiere Pro open, not too long, a couple weeks. In any case, go ahead and do that. Ask for help if you need it. And the next step is to import those camera shots. There's uh, five of them that we want to import. So once again, there's a couple different ways that you can do that. I think I will show you a way that we didn't do uh, when we were editing in Premiere Pro using our images. So what you could do is just open the folder where all of the video is located. And so there's my camera one and camera two and so forth. And so there's all my clips. So I could select all those and then I could just drag them into my project window here. Just like that. So there's camera one. And then the other thing you could do if you want, you could just go ahead and grab that whole folder and that should also bring them in if you want to keep that same organization. Yep, there they are right there. So that's another way you could do it too. So I'll go ahead and grab three, four, and five and drag those in to the project window. Now let's make sure they went in there. There's one, there, and there. Looks good. So there you go. Pause the video, get that taken care of, and then we'll come back and we will start editing. Oh, and remember to get some black video too. And once again, for those of you who may not be familiar with that, or if you forgot, click on the new item button. Black video. So we always start our videos with black. Now 
All right, next up, let's go ahead and drag that black video onto video one and give ourselves a good 10 seconds there. Going to press that plus key to zoom in. Now, if any of you are having any trouble, remember to go back and visit those early videos that we did, videos 1 through 20, I believe. I think there's one called Black Video, so if you need to review any of those, go ahead and do that. So a lot of things I'm going to go pretty quickly here. Okay, let's take a look and see. I think I'll go ahead to maintain some continuity here. Just go ahead and create a camera one folder because I drug those over without the folder before. And then I can take those first camera shots, put them right there. There we go. Okay. And then the next step, take start taking a look here at the video and where we want to start. I don't want to start with that camera one shot. I want to start with probably camera two where they're actually coming down the road. See what this is. There we go. So here we go. So we've got this piece of footage here. And so you make a decision about where you want to start your movie. You could start at the very beginning. You could start somewhere about right here. I'm going to go ahead and start about right here. I'm just going to do this real quickly. And here's the process. So use your current time indicator here. Get it to where you want to start. And once again, don't worry about the audio. Turn that down. Right here, this is mark in. Shortcut is the letter I on your keyboard, and that marks or sets the endpoint of where that video clip begins. Go ahead and either scrub through with the CTI current time indicator, or go ahead and just do a play. Now, because I do not have something called a clean exit here, you see that? It just never goes off screen. And because it never goes off screen, I have to make sure that in the next scene I really match the action. And so some of the things that I'm going to be cueing on or looking at here, you might be looking at how the horses are walking, where their foot is, pick up on one animal, something that you just want to match the action real carefully. Uh, another way you could do it, you could look at that right front wheel and see, well, both of them. Both of them are now off the pavement on the dirt. So I'll just do that as an example. That might, that might be pretty easy. And then you're going to mark the out point. Letter O is the shortcut for that. There you go. And then, because we don't want the audio, we're just going to click here on the video. Drag video only and bring that right down. And don't mess with transitions. We don't care about transitions for this, for this project. We're just going to have these jump edits. And then I'm going to go to camera two, or camera one. Let's see what I have there. Yeah, there's that scene there. So there we go. There's the same scene, different camera shot. So what I'm going to do is get both of those wheels off the pavement there. Okay, so now I can come over here and look at my last shot over on my right screen here, the preview, or the uh, program monitor. There's the last frame. Both wheels off the pavement on the dirt. This one's just about off the pavement. So I'm going to try to find the same place in this camera shot where that happens. And I'm going to use my arrow keys to really dial it in here. So watch it again. See, one of the wheels is off. Now the left wheel is getting close. That left front wheel. And still not there. Still not there. About right there. And because you can't see the horses in this shot, nobody's going to know. That's probably going to look pretty good. So I'm going to mark that as the end point and then go ahead and play. And here they come. And then this one here, let's just for practice. I don't want to leave this same scene on here or this shot for too long. So you might leave it on there just depending on how you want to edit your movie together. But Let's say that I didn't want to do that, and I'm going to go ahead and just stop it right about there before they go through the gate, just so I can get some practice. Lots of shots here. What do I have? About three seconds there. So I'm going to drag that down, and then I'll come through that, and then we'll take a look, and then watch that over here, and let's see how it looks. That looks pretty good. And then I'll go to about the last shot on that one. 
last frame. And then I can go back to camera two and then find this place here on the different camera on camera two. So they're coming up and now I'm going to have to get a little creative here and just kind of look at these and go, yeah, it's pretty close. It could be hard for anybody to know otherwise. And then I'm going to say, okay, I want it there. Let that play out. And then I don't like that zoom at all. So I think I'm going to go get myself a little bit of time here. The zoom is just not nice. I'm going to stop it there. Let's see what we have there. Oops. Let's see. I'll start that shot there. Mark it in. Play it just before that nasty zoom comes in there. And two seconds. Let's see if I can get another second out of it. Ugh. Right there. Almost. I'll take my end point a little bit sooner. That's not much I can do. I'll try it right there. Then I'll drag that down. And there they go. They're just about under the gate. And then I can bounce back to camera two. And you just have to keep in mind, lots of trial and error as you go through it. There. They're just about under there. So I'm going to take that. And then... We do have, fortunately, a clean exit. And that's good, because now I don't have to worry about matching the action in the next shot. I can do whatever I want, because I've got a clean entrance coming up, too, on that pickup shot on top of my truck. So, drag that down. And then, let's see if there's anything else left here. Oh, yeah. Let's see, anything here? Nothing I can really... Oh, right there. There's my old pickup. And there's a tripod mounted up here with a camera. And so we're going to go to that shot next. There it is. And actually, give you an idea with that, uh, that clean exit, because we let the... I was going to call it a stagecoach. <laughs> okay, because we let this... What do we call this thing? Horse... Horse carriage. I've been here a long time today. Because we have this clean exit, I can go ahead and move over to this shot. And as long as that camera's not moving around too much. I go, well, let's see how much I can get out of that. Boom. There. Let's see if I can get a few seconds there. Uh, that's not very much. Let's see. Let's see what I get out of that. Not a whole lot, but I'll show you how that thing works. See that? That's a good example of how a clean exit just allows you the flexibility because it's the same camera, and we just eliminate that panning around of the camera. And because it exits out of the screen, we can get away with a move like that right there. Nobody knows. It looks good. It looks natural. So now we'll go to that uh, truck shot. That one right there, I think that is, I think it was camera four. No, I don't know where it is. What's this? Oh, I think it's this one. Is it camera? Four? Yeah, this is camera four. Okay, so there it is, just sitting on top of the pickup truck, and we're looking for the point where we got that. There it is. There's that clean entrance there. Back it up a little bit. Just before the horsies show up right there. There's my endpoint play. And there they have arrived and they stop. And there you go. And we're going to stop there with this video and see if you can do that. Play around with it. See if you can get this far. And if you want, try a couple different combinations. Like I said, there, you, you saw that I had lots of different options on where I cut the in point, cut the out point, how you splice it together. And uh, that's just where the magic of editing happens. Let's take a look at it and see how this thing looks.
Look at that. Beautiful. Looks like we know what we're doing. Have fun with that. I'm looking forward to coming around. And once again, thank you for watching another roommate video.